Oh, hey there. Welcome to my office tour. Do you know, do you, do you get the reference? I'm referencing MTV Cribs from like back in the 90s. You're too young. Okay, fine. Come on in. Come on in. All right, in all seriousness, I have made some major changes to my office, to my workspace, and I'm really excited to take you along with me today and share with you some of my favorite things in my home office. As you know, I am a software developer. I work full time in tech in developer relations. I also obviously, I mean, we're talking. I am a content creator, a YouTuber, uh, and I also just founded my own company called Takeoff. So I need an office space that really is great for both creativity, for both uh, sitting down and having focus time. I need a multi approach to my office space. It's not just used for one thing. In fact, there are parts of this office which I'm not gonna show you today, or maybe I will if you're really lucky or really unlucky because it's a little bit of a disaster over here. But we're gonna start with the tech, the cool stuff. And I recently just got a new monitor. So that is gonna be the first thing we dive into. You know me, I love Apple products and I was using for quite a few months, if not a year now, the two Apple Studio displays and I love them. They've been great. Recently though, I got shipped this other monitor. You can kind of see part of it here. Uh, which I'm gonna be taking you through and all the other things. All right, let's just jump right into it. If you haven't already, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button, leave in the comments any other questions you have about my workspace or home office setup. Okay, let's get into it. All right, you can see here, I have set up the Dell 49 inch curved monitor. And I've been seeing these on social media for quite a while and I thought to myself, okay, I really like how this looks. I just don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. Is it going to be too close and personal when I'm working? Like, is there enough space? But honestly, I can tell you, I really love it. So what do I love about it? All right, so here are my favorite things about it that I really love so far. One being, you know, obviously that it has a slight curve to it. It's really good when I'm sitting. Let me show you or standing here. Let me show you how close I am. Put you down here. We're getting real here. This is high quality production, y'all, but I really want to show you. So first of all, I can still lift the standing mount desk, which we will get into which one I have and all of that in a sec here, but I can still lift it up. And so it's great for, you know, this height when I can stand and work. I really enjoy this, but also too, it's not so much that here, let me take you and put you behind here. I'm trying to get you to see that it doesn't feel as though I'm necessarily standing like, I thought I'd be like directly to it. There would be no space in between, but there's not. It's a good amount of space that I can easily see the entire monitor still. Now, honestly, I would definitely not go any bigger than 49 inch. This might be even pushing it, to be honest with you. But here's how I set it up so far. So I typically do, say if I'm in a coding environment or building or coding mindset, I should say, I will have my um, IDE open on one side. So in this case, I have a little, this is an old project here, but you can see I have my VS Code open. Then I would have something where it's the actual um, browser so I can see what I am building, for example. That's worked pretty well for me with this, this uh, monitor. I like that setup. And then maybe I'll have on the other side something around music or something else going on. I don't, I don't see a huge difference between the curved monitor and then my two Apple monitors for that aspect, like the workflow, if I prefer one over the other. I think it's still a little too soon. I actually have my Apple monitors right here and I need to figure out what to do with them because I love them. The one thing though I will say though about Apple Studio Display, I shouldn't call them monitors, Apple Studio Display to be particular, um, is the screen, the graphics, the display in general is higher quality I have found. So that is something that feels like I'm giving up for this curved monitor, but for now, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I really like it, but I'm curious to hear. I feel like it's very divided if people like the studio displays better or the curved, so leave in the comments what you prefer. All right, next up is something that I've been gatekeeping for, well, kind of forever. And it's not because I don't want to let people know about it or anything like that, but what it is is, I don't know if I'd get the same one again, is why I never say the brand of the standing mount desk. So this, for people who always are asking, it is called a standing mount desk. What you can do is simply lower the desk 
and rise the desk. And I love this because when I first got my actual desk, my physical desk, which is from Restoration Hardware, I was working full time in office. This is before everyone went remote and all of that. And I didn't need a standing desk because this was more so going to be for storage. It was just more for aesthetic purposes. Then when I started working from home, I realized very quickly I need to stand as well. I don't stand 24 seven. That's a question people ask. They're like, do you always stand while you work? No, I don't. I sit too. The reality is though, I needed something that I could put on top of my desk and that is where the standing mount desk came in. So with this standing mount desk, it is by a brand called Vivo. I like it, it's quite heavy though, is why I don't necessarily always recommend this one. It is really heavy to lift up or down, but then on the flip side, it can hold very well, I mean, this massive monitor. So yes, standing mount desk, if you search up Vivo, you will find it. All right, next up, let's talk about this chair. This is the Herman Miller Embody Chair. Other than being very good at swiveling around very quickly, as you just saw, it is incredible. So for context here, this is not the cheapest chair. I knew this going into it. Actually, it's probably one of the most expensive chairs Herman Miller makes. And why did I get it? Tiff, why would you get one of the most expensive chairs? It doesn't make any sense. I hear you, I hear you. But guess what? I've had this chair now for, how long have I had this chair for? Quite a few years. I would say three, maybe going on four years. I think even maybe longer. And I'm probably going to have it for another, I don't even know how long, but it's still in great condition and it's held its shape very well. It's an investment. It's an investment on my posture, my health. When I sit down, I know I am sitting with an ergonomic chair. Now, let's be honest. There are times where I am sitting in this chair, not utilizing its full capability. What I mean by that is sometimes I'll sit hunched over, be coding, you know, hood up the whole nine yards. And that's the reality. I think this chair is worth the investment if you are really going to utilize the features it has to offer, meaning you really take care of yourself when you are sitting in it, you're not slumped over, you're being very proactive. And I sometimes don't do that. So I do think it's worth it in certain scenarios, but I also think there are a ton of other chairs out there. So would I recommend this one? Well, I mean, it's, it's hard. <sighs> yes, kind of. I don't know. Would I do it again? Probably, because I really like the look of it too. It also, for me, feels like an art piece. Okay, let's talk art for a second. So, you can see in this room, this is actually a bedroom that converted to my office. And why I'm not showing you down below is, well, because I need to clean up that stuff. But um, aside from this, which is a little bit of a mess, Mug sleeps there, my dog, um, and I need to fold my clothes. Come on, Tiff, get with the chores. But I love art. We have art throughout our home, and I wanted to incorporate these two pieces. I was a dancer, a ballet dancer growing up, and then also to, I just love this photo of this lion. It's from Africa, and I just think it really represents strength and beauty, and I just love it. Then if you go into here, on this side of my office, I have this one I just got, uh, which is of course Steve Jobs, and I'm obsessed with it. It's uh, number four, number four, I have to look again, um, but number four, I think out of 10 in the world, four out of five in the world, I gotta double check that, um, for the original. So this was uh, printed in a dark room. It's the one of the original photographs from this. I mean, we've all seen this, but this is one of the originals, which is pretty cool. And I also collect lights. I love collecting old vintage lights. So this one made it into my office, which I think is pretty cool. It's from the 1960s. It is from a film set. All right, back to more of the technical things here for my keyboard and my mouse. Logitech all the way. Huge Logitech fan. I mean, I also love too. Okay, they're probably really dirty, so I apologize. Um, but I love too how between, let's see here, you can, switch between you know different kind of computers so there's one two three so i use this i can easily just press two for my work computer or three for a different computer um, because as you know on top of doing all of this i do work full time so it's nice to be able to switch easily between computers oh hey there it's me again i have a mirror here too we collected this mirror i it was, it's just a temporary place. We're going to be moving into a bigger space in about another year and a little bit. That is the first time I've shared that information actually on uh, social media. But more to come on that in a bit here and I'm gonna get you to help me design a fully new office which is coming soon um, in about, as I mentioned, a year. 
but in the meantime, this is where this mirror is sitting. So yeah, that is my office space. I think we went through everything. I feel like we did everything pretty quickly. For me, having an office space that is both functional, but also to, I think anyways, looks really nice, or it makes me feel really good. It makes me feel happy. It's bright. I need to get real plants. These are fake plants. I need to upgrade to uh, the real thing. I'm just scared, the commitment. I feel like I'm gonna kill the real plants. I'm not a good plant mon. Anyways, I hope this gave you some inspiration for your office or your setup. I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, it's about finding what works best for you. And also too, recognizing that this office for me did not come together overnight. It took me a long time, a long time. Cause sometimes people will be like, why did, how did you have so much money to spend on this stuff? It's not as though I ordered everything at once. And keep that in mind when you are building out your office too. The space is for you and uh, do some things to really customize it for you. I mean, I have, you can see here, this hat, which is uh, Saskatchewan Rough Riders because that's from Saskatchewan where I grew up in Canada. So just like things like that, I find kind of give it a little, a little something something. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this updated desk tour for coding, content creation, um, running a business. It's just, for me, it's my happy spot. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions down below and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.